Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, October 26, 2009. This morning I'd like to go through a couple of other interesting capabilities of the browser. I've gone through breakpoints, but I wanted to look at watch points, and that's a different kind of probe that doesn't halt the application, just allows you to look at it and see what's going on at runtime. So here I have a simple application so that we don't get bogged down in complexity with the code. We can just look at what the debugger is doing. So in here I have my add one method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cursor over here at the end of this method and I'm going to do insert probe and what I'm going to do is have an expression watch and for an expression watch what you're allowed to do is put in some kind of conditional code up here at the top this has to result in a boolean so I'm going to say count value is greater than say four and down here you have to have something that resolves to a string so I'm going to say current count value colon and then I'm going to put in a space there append count value print string. So I'm going to hit OK on that and now I get my probe down there. I'm going to move that aside a bit and notice nothing happens when I hit to 3 to 4 but now I'm over 4. Now it's at the end of the method so it didn't trigger so it's going to be kind of one behind. So I'm going to put it over here and you see that it's trailing behind what happened but now if I hit it again it should pop that over again current count value so you see that I'm getting a watch on this so what I can do is I can just watch a variable I can watch the code I can put whatever expression I want there now once I'm done with that I can say well I'm done with that probe so I'm going to remove it it's going to pull that out different kind of probe let's take a look at the other options here insert probe variable watch now for a variable watch there are a couple of different things you can do I can hit insert and it's going to give me some options top of stack instance variable temp variable I have no temp so that's grayed out I'm not going to watch the instance variable I want to do top of stack because that's kind of interesting what it's going to do is at the point I hit this probe it's going to show me what's at the top of the stack what object is sitting there so at this point it shouldn't be terribly surprising it's going to be my variable and you notice it's again trailing one behind because of the point where the probe is it's just before that got added in so I get this window and it's watching that trailing value over here I've got it up at 8 and if I hit again you notice what's going to happen it's going to give me again that value so I can take a look at what's at the top of the stack I could close this off I can go back here remove the probe and if I put the cursor down and hit insert probe I get other options so I can have expression watches I've gone through variable watches there are various points window parameters I can look at the actual things sitting there I can do conditionals I can put in complex conditionals as I did for the expression watch so that's kind of what I wanted to cover today and that gives you an idea of what you can do with the debugger where you don't want to break the code you just want to be looking at what's happening in the code while it's running maybe you have some complex set of things going on you'd rather not go into the debugger because you have multiple processes running but as things are happening as something goes through a method you want to just see what the state is so that's about it for today until next time have fun with small talk